Halloween can be very, very scary, but you know what's not scary? Supporting your local businesses. And a lot of times we hear the term lift up local, but what does that actually mean? I'm here at Capitol Hippie where she's redefining it with Scare on the Square. Let's check it out. Laura, I am so, so excited to finally meet you and finally get a chance to come inside Capital Hippie. I have to tell you, this store is one of its one of a kind, something we've never seen before. Tell us what's inside here. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for coming to see me today. Uh, well, everything, almost everything that we have here is locally made. Mm -hmm. I make all the tie-dyes, and then local artists make all the art, the jewelry, the incense, the stickers. I mean, almost everything here is locally made. I love that. It's not just the hats that we put on. It's not just the clothes, the tie-dye outfits that I'm already looking and mixing and matching here that we have. But what's great is that this is an entire experience. It really feels like you are walking into the 70s. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, what I wanted to create was I wanted to create a space that um, most people would feel welcome in. Hopefully everyone would feel welcome in, one that I enjoy being in. But I really wanted to make a, a very vibrant shop where people can come in and leave in a better mood than what they came in. And maybe that means that when they leave, they'll tell a stranger that they like their shirt or just that they'll be happier in general. Take it out to the public, take it home to their families. That's great. And that's amazing and hard to kind of wrap my mind around that every single piece of clothing here, you have personally tie dyed yourself. Now I see why you're the busiest person in downtown Lansing, okay? <laughs> And really, really, I mean, I'm not. Everyone is super, super busy. You know, it is it is difficult um, making almost everything. Almost, almost everything. everything. There are a couple pieces that I bought wholesale, but if it's tied and dyed, I did it. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot, a lot of hard work, but uh, I love it. So, Laura, you've been here in downtown Lansing for almost a little over two years. You just celebrated an anniversary. But obviously, you know, being a part of this community means a lot more to you than just the surface level. Tell us about what Scare on the Square is all about. Well, what Scare on the Square is all about is lifting up local and helping local artists and local businesses. I have 60 plus vendors coming in. We have live music going all day. We have um, live entertainment. Uh, the Motley Misfits, they have oh like fire goodness. and all kinds of stuff like that. We have um, all the open businesses. I really want people to come and see what businesses are open and to come and enjoy what downtown Lansing really has. Rather than go online and complain about what downtown does not have, come down and support, see what we do have. We do have businesses that are open until seven. The more that you come and support us, every single dollar counts. The later we'll be able to be open, the more hours we'll be able to have, the more businesses that will open in our area. And I really think that it's a snowball effect. Sometimes I have people apologize when they get something that's $5. And I am like, seriously, this changes the day for my family. It, it literally does. You know, we see what we bring in in a day. And my husband and I will literally text like, oh my gosh, yes, it's been a great day. And that will, it just, it just changes everything. So if you haven't had a chance to, or even if you have had a chance to, I want you to calm down, experience the businesses, all the local artists, the music. And I cannot forget to say QP's is going to be open on Saturday. I love it. And they are not open on Saturdays, but they're opening for a scare on the square. So come get your QP's too. How amazing. So you've been able to bring in all of these businesses, everybody who truly makes downtown Lansing what it is. And this is not the first time that you've had this event. Mind you, this is part two. But tell us, what was part one all about and how did you grow on that to bring it back again this year? Well, part one was kind of the same thing. We've just grown a little bit. It was the same idea. So local artists can come and give it their shot and see what they can make and network with other local artists about other events possibly sell some of their art and some of the downtown businesses. And um, the only thing that's a little bit different this year is it's a little bit bigger and I've closed the road down. I so love it. You are shutting it down yes, here in yes. Bring the whole family out. This is very family friendly. Um, come enjoy your day. I love it. I'm so excited. Yeah, thank you. Ah.